What's up everybody? I wanna talk about this Joe Dispenza retreat that I just went on. I wanna talk about how it was the best week of my life. It's changed my life. I feel like a totally different person, a new person, a better person, an improved version of my past self. First, I wanna start off with kind of what we did there. So the first night we were there, he kind of just gave us an overview of what the week was gonna look like somewhat. Uh, seems like he likes to keep things pretty much unknown which I loved because then you're just like, what's next, what's next? What we did was, you know, he would talk about what we were doing during the meditations and kind of the knowledge behind it and proof of why it works. And he would back it up with evidence and data proving scientifically what we were doing. So that way, when we did do it, we can implement it perfectly into, uh, you know, we could have the belief behind the intention and what we're doing which makes a huge difference you know if you're just aimlessly meditating and you don't know what you're doing or why you're doing it then you know it's obviously not going to have as much of an effect so what he did which i love was he told us what we're doing why we're doing it and backed it up with evidence and scientific data proving exactly what we're doing and the benefits of it so during the meditations uh, I at first the first couple days I was really enjoying myself and then I came up I found myself coming up with a couple different challenges and a couple of limiting beliefs that I had that I didn't even know that I had uh, and that will happen if you if you go to a week-long meditation retreat with Joe Dispenza because uh, he'll challenge you and he'll take you to the absolute extreme you know and, and make you go totally within to really analyze yourself and uh, sit with yourself. I think we, we sat with ourselves for at least over 30 some hours throughout the whole week. One day we, we got up at 4 a.m. and we did a five hour meditation. So you know this wasn't just some some meditation retreat that you know there was just some meditating. It was like a lot of meditating, hours and hours of meditating and condensed in one week. I feel like a week was the perfect amount of time for this retreat because during that week it was like I was good in the beginning and then in the middle towards you know middle end area I started coming up with some serious uh, questioning my beliefs and questioning a couple things and then there was one day when I actually didn't even want to go and I almost skipped one of the lectures because I was just you know I was kind of feeling like ah this is just a bunch of shit <laughs> you know a bunch of crap um, and then you know I, I found myself almost judging Joe thinking like oh you know he's making all this money and he's just maybe he's just doing it and, and me and, and this one guy he told me he was like he was telling me his beliefs about like kind of yeah it seems like kind of like a brainwashing thing kind of like he's just convincing people that they're gonna have this experience then they have it it's like a placebo effect and then I found myself like the universe gave me that challenge so that I could overcome it and that challenge that was pretty much the time when I was like, uh, I'm gonna, I think it was the day after when I was kind of like, I kind of think I'm gonna skip this one session. I ended up not skipping it, I ended up going, and Joe says when you show up for yourself, that's all you need to do, you know, just show up for yourself and keep showing up for yourself. And now I understand what he's saying, you know, if you keep going and keep showing up for yourself and keep doing the work, uh, meditating and really being there for yourself, then you're gonna see results and I've seen <laughs> I've seen some really amazing things happen just over the course of that week and even even now and it's all I've been like I've been home I think this is my third day home and I've just seen like incredible things happening felt incredible things happening and the only thing I could describe this that week as is holy and to me it feels like the church I've always wanted the church that I've always envisioned being the true church because, you know, you go to a, a lot of churches and there's people who feel judgmental towards you and they're not accepting and loving of you. But this place, everybody's on the same vibe. They're all just like so loving and so caring. And, and you know, you make lifelong friends here because they're all people who are who believe in unconditional love, who truly know what unconditional love is because they've experienced it. And they're willing to pay $2,500 to go to this event because they know that it's true. Uh, that doesn't mean that they're not going to come up against struggles while they're there, but something in them told them that this is true because their intuition was, you know, guiding them and they allowed their intuition to guide them. And uh, 
those are the people that are there at these events and they're beautiful people beautiful souls and i've met like i said i've met lifelong friends there and they're actually two of them are coming to stay at my house for an advanced follow-up retreat which is uh, about 45 minutes away from my house and uh, they're staying at my house for that retreat so it's going to be me and, and two of them and the synchronicity of how that happened is crazy too <laughs> which i'm not even going to go into but so there's just so there's so much i want to tell you that it's overwhelming but i'll start out with my favorite part which was the coherence healings uh during those these coherence healings there's three people on one side and then there's three people on this side and they're facing each other in chairs and then there's one person laying down in the middle of, of those six people. So three people, three people, one person laying down in between them. And the three people are facing each other this way on the chairs. And what they do, or what we all do around this person who's in the middle, the person in the middle is receiving healing from cancer or, you know, any, any type of disease they might have. You know, they're laying down there because they have something physically wrong with them, a physical ailment of some sort. What we do is we... We harness energy from our uh, field, energy field, and we turn it towards them. And we all do this at the same time. I've learned why we do this. And we, and we raise the vibration of the person in the middle, right? So we take all of our energy combined and we create this energy in the center. And it raises the vibration of the person in the middle high enough so that they can receive healing. What I've actually come to uh, understand from researching it more is that there are these these blue beings they almost they look like big tall beautiful beings and uh they go to these events and they and they are the ones who do healings on people you can call them light beings you can call them angels or whatever you want to call them it's kind of just a label of something that's unknown to us but they're apparently they're big beautiful noble loving unconditionally loving and graceful and just all the things that you know we strive to be as a as a as humanity they told joe that the only way they can heal the person who's laying in the middle is if we can raise the vibration of the person in the middle high enough to meet the beings because they're they're at a high vibration being at such a high vibration they can't go any lower than that vibration or else they said to Joe that they love themselves too much to go down to that level, you know, go to a lower, lower level of consciousness, lower vibration level. And they love themselves too much to stoop to that level, which I thought was amazing, like really cool to hear because that makes so much sense. And so, you know, a lot of these people at the event saw these blue beings. I've ta I talked to them and then you look online, there's testimonies of everybody seeing these blue beings at these events. And then, you know, I've experienced, I didn't see them, but I heard them audibly. And they told me, they told me, uh, I channeled a message. Through, it was, came through me during the healing. And it, it said, they kept telling me, they kept telling me to say, let go, let go. And at the perfect time, it's like, it came out of my mouth, but it was almost like I was not saying it, but I was allowing it to be said through me. And it just said, let go. And as I said, let go, <laughs> this lady said, all of, the, mostly everybody in the, in the whole group was like, wow, it was perfect timing. And it was just, it was just something that you can't explain in words. But like I said, it was holy. The coherence healings are my favorite part because we were all together. And meditation was amazing too. The whole thing was incredible. But I love the, the coherence healings because you're giving yourself to help other people and you're, and you're giving all you have, all you, all your love and everything you have to help other people and it's like such a beautiful thing and it's such a good feeling to do that and you know a lot of people might not understand fully about the blue being part but just put that aside just look at the scientific data of joe's teachings and joe's work and then you'll see that there's besides that that whole thing that i just talked about there's some serious uh, validity to everything he's doing and it's not just validity, it's just scientific data that's proven and it's been proven over and over again and it continues to be proven every single event that these people are receiving healing and, and you know, even PTSD and, and, and depression and stuff like that is being cured. Like people are being cured of all that just from following these teachings and doing all this, doing all these meditations. I have a lot a lot of synchronicities that happened while I was there 
but I guess my main takeaways were I realized that a lot of the stuff that happened to me in the past was very spiritual and I, and I already knew that but I didn't have the the knowledge to to understand it and to really like really truly understand it on a different level and now after going to this retreat I have the knowledge to to truly at least like grasp what happened to me in the past which which was a whole nother story but you know it gave me the knowledge to understand my spiritual experiences and understand you know more about consciousness and more about god source love and more about these angels or even you know the negative sides of life and how the universe gives you what you need all the time and you can either listen or stay stagnant and then if you don't listen you don't grow then you're just going to stay in the same spot and keep repeating the same lesson until you learn it and i'm sure we've all been there and uh you know that i think another key takeaway i mean i've learned not only from this retreat but i've known this but this really enforced it again and again it, it, it keeps it you know, the retreat really enforced this idea for me and really made me have even a deeper understanding of it that everybody in our lives who have hurt us are doing the best with what they have. And not only that, but they were there to teach us a lesson about unconditional love. And they're there to show us how to love unconditionally. And everybody in our lives is put there for a reason and is put there to teach us lessons. To, for us, our soul to uh, to grow and, and, and evolve, and um, you know, to be grateful for all the pain and all the suffering and all the all the really hard times is it can be a really hard thing, but there's so much beauty in it because of all the growth. It's like it's like you know, you hear all these cliche lines all the time, like pain is pain creates growth just you know sort of stuff similar to that and it's like it's all true like there's a reason that a lot of this stuff is cliche it's because it's all very true and and you know it might sound corny it might sound overplayed or whatever but you know the truth is that everything that happens to you is happening for you and it really does happen for you because if you choose to listen and you choose to really take in the lessons and be humble enough to to change and to grow with the flow of life and the current and and really just you know understand what's going on in your life and why it's happening to you and then you're going to continue to be grateful for every single little tiny thing that happens to you even if it hurts you know it's okay if it hurts um I even have it tattooed on me. It's okay to let yourself hurt. <laughs> and it's like, it is okay to let yourself hurt. It's actually important to let yourself hurt because if you don't, then you're just going to stay stagnant like, you know, a lot of the people in the world. And that's not to say that they're bad or wrong or anything. It's just sad because, like, if if people knew of unconditional love, then they wouldn't be in that spot. They wouldn't be in that position where they had to stay stagnant and learn the same lesson over and over again and create their own hell you know that's essentially what you know I've been there I've been there many times where I'm stuck in this pattern and, and feeling victimized feeling like a victim sorry for myself and feeling like I just you know don't know where to go and I feel lost but the truth is you know that's just a a separation from love and and when you're separated from love you're in darkness and when you're in darkness, you can't see. And, and the only way to see is for stuff to be brought to the light, right? And it's all metaphors. It's all like, it's all this me cosmic metaphor. <laughs> it's all this beautiful metaphor for life. Like, you have so much in you that is beautiful. And to see the gifts in every single thing that happens to you, I think, is the most important thing you can do for yourself to, to just love everything that happens to you even the pain even the you know the, the hard times or the people who hurt you the most and just see where they're coming from and truly like look and just you know holding holding grudges is only going to keep you stuck it's only going to keep you in that spot but if you can 
if you can see where that person's coming from, why they're hurting, and, and, and put yourself in their shoes, then you can just move move on with your life and, and, and enjoy your life and be joyful and, and be happy and love and keep loving and keep being grateful and uh, yeah I mean I just went on a totally crazy rant there but it's all it's all important you know it's all very true and I'm sure a lot of people need to hear this I trust the universe so much that I'm I'm just I'm just doing what feels right and I trust that whatever whatever I do that feels right is going to align me to the path that I'm supposed to be on uh, and you know there's a lot there's a lot of, I could talk about but I'm going to keep it here for now and I could talk about more uh, in the next video because I just went on a, a long rant and uh, <laughs> went kind of off topic but still on topic but Joe Dispenza's retreat was phenomenal and um and it's just money, you know, if, if you have a credit card, in my opinion, like, I would suggest spend the money, man, like, it, you can always pay the, your credit card debt back or whatever, like, if you don't have any money to do it, it's 2500 bucks, um, or at least look into his stuff on YouTube and just research it, you don't have to go to a retreat to do the work, you can... You can look it up and read the books and, and do all that stuff by yourself at home. And you can have the same benefit. There are testimonies. If you go on YouTube, just type in Joe Dispenza testimonies. There are testimonies of people who have done the work at home and who have healed themselves from some really, really intense uh, physical ailments and physical, uh, physical problems and mental disorders and PTSD and trauma and all kinds of stuff. There's, there's testimonies of people who are truly joyful, and truly happy, and truly just humbled and loving and, and no longer victims. They're, they're taking their power back and they're just spreading kindness, spreading goodness, and creating change in the world because they've been able to fully deal with whatever's inside them. I just want to take one second to tell you, whoever's watching this, that you're amazing and that you have so much potential and that if you hide from the light, then it's going to be, it's going to be uh, a harder road for you, you know, and you're going to have to keep, keep repeating the same lessons until you can accept the lessons and just learn and grow for them. And it's not to say, like, be, don't be hard on yourself. Be, be graceful with yourself. Be loving to yourself because... It's not an easy path, you know. We're we're taking on, we're taking on a lot by coming here to Earth to learn and grow as souls and and evolve. So don't be so hard on yourself, but just, you know, take in everything you can and just accept it for what it is. And just that's that's all I can say. I mean, it's it's beautiful. Life is beautiful, and all all of everything that's happening is happening for you. It's not happening to you. Uh, it's all, there's no coincidences, you know, and uh, everything is divinely orchestrated for you, so uh, that's all I got to say. Smile at someone today and, and keep uh, pursuing truth, and if the universe sees that you're pursuing truth in an honest, sincere way, then it will give you, it will give you what you need, and and just keep keep doing it because uh, I don't know I don't think it's an end I don't think I think it's a never ending process and uh, you keep reaching these higher and higher states higher realms um, of consciousness and beauty and love and I don't I don't think there's an end to that <laughs> so you know um, would you rather be living in love or living in fear is the real question um, so that's what I'll leave you with and uh, I love you all and I hope you have a great day, night, whatever it is, and I'll see you soon.